Well, hello, church. It's Pastor Jeremy coming to you from the Parsonage with another weekly devotion. Today, we continue our tour of the stained glass windows at the Court Street United Methodist Church as we take an even closer look at the righteousness window in the Court Street Chapel. In the small chapel at Court Street, we find a series of eight windows inspired by the Beatitudes, the blessings that Jesus gave in his most famous sermon, the Sermon on the Mount. Today, we're going to continue to explore a window that is rich in symbols, a window that was inspired by the fourth Beatitude, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Now, the first time we talked about this window, we discovered that righteousness is what happens when we are right with creation, right with each other, and right with God. The top panel of this window contains several symbols that represent ways in which we can experience righteousness. Today, we're going to look at the symbols representing the sacrament of Holy Communion. Methodists believe that a sacrament is what happens when we use physical, material things to reveal an invisible, spiritual reality. As we do something the eye can see, God does something the eye can't see. At first glance, it doesn't seem like there's much going on when Christians gather to share a communion meal. Somebody prays and breaks some bread. People share the bread and some wine or grape juice with each other. And that's it. As far as the human eye can see, that's all that happens during communion. Beneath the surface where the eye cannot see. There's a lot more going on. People who spend so much of their lives taking things for granted pause to give God thanks. People who spend so much of our lives hoarding treasures for ourselves take a moment to freely share with one another. In a world where so many people experience hostility and rejection, Everyone is invited to the table. At the communion table, even if only for a moment, we get a taste of what it's like to be right with God and right with one another. If we allow them to, the sacraments can shape us and spill over into our day-to-day lives. The sacrament of Holy Communion reminds us that we can taste God's rightness in simple moments. We can create moments of rightness using only simple things. When we do communion right, it doesn't just fill our souls. It gives us a taste for righteousness that leaves us hungry for more. Hungry for more thanksgiving. Hungry for more sharing. Hungry for more inclusion. Hungry and thirsty enough that we become more thankful, more generous, more welcoming, more righteous in everything we do. Would you pray with me? Generous God, you have filled this world with plenty of goodness for every one of your children. Feed us the bread that satisfies and also leaves us hungry for more, that we might turn all our lives into one continuous sacrament. Through Jesus who sets the table. Amen. Well, thank you for spending a little time with us today. You can find a new devotion right here every Wednesday at noon. Until we meet again, keep washing your hands, keep wearing your mask, and do not be afraid.